Hey guys, Master J109 here. Um, my it's been a while since I've made a, another computer video, but um, the last video I did, I had a I believe it was a Hackintosh on my Dell 1525. I still have that laptop, but I mean it's running Snow Leopard 10.6.8, but that's as far as I'm able to get with it. I've tried Lion OS 10 Lion. It's it hasn't been working too well for me. I, the graphics just are not there. They're not working right, so I just stayed on with Snow Leopard. But this laptop right here is the Dell Inspiron 3520. Actually, I'll open that up for you. This is one of my newer laptops I bought for college this year. Um, if I can see, actually, it doesn't say it on it, but yeah, it's the Inspiron 1520 and 3520. Um, it's got the Core i3 processor. You can see right there. I need to install the i5 sometime soon. I'm going to get that once I have money. But I'm going to show you a little boot up right here. Right now, this is um, this is a chameleon bootloader. But uh, I actually have installed Yosemite on here, if you can see right there. Um, zoom in for that. But it's it's actually running better because actually I have Mavericks on here right now. But Yosemite doesn't boot through the chameleon bootloader yet so I don't know why it just that's just how it hasn't been cracked for that yet I guess but I've been able to boot through it I've been using I use the UniBeast method because I, um, I did through Mavericks on here and I'm making this video because uh, I haven't really seen a video for this laptop yet I know I've been reading threads all over the internet of people who are trying to get Mavericks running fine on here um, and I have I'm running the latest version of Mavericks, which is 10.9.5. And I'll actually show you guys that. My password. As you see, I got the mountain lion background, but it's... <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's kick in. Yeah, the only thing that's really that's not working right now, there's a couple things. The, um, the Wi-Fi card, I just ordered... Uh, a card I got installed in here because the one that comes to fall with the Inspiron 3520 is not compatible with uh, Mac. So, I mean, because these laptops are built for Windows 7 or 8. And I mean, they work with Linux. I've ran Ubuntu through this also. So, yeah, so it's my shades program. This is how I control my brightness because uh, that's another thing that doesn't work. The brightness keys, if you would press like a normal FN and uh, F5 or F4, it doesn't go up or down. So I just have to, I use a program called Shades. So to, just to control the brightness on here. I mean, I can make it brighter. Right on the camera. There we go. Yeah, the track, and another thing, the trackpad's not really working too well. You can't click and drag anything. And I haven't really found out a thing for that yet. But I just use a normal mouse anyway when I'm using this. But I'll show you my, uh, the version. As you can see here. Just let it focus in. Yeah, that's, if you can see that, that's 10.9.5. Actually use more info. Yeah. So yeah, I have the H, I have the HD 3000. And then that was, that was a pain to work with, but I got that working on my second time installing this. Right, this reads as a MacBook Pro. So, so you can tell the Core i3, 6 gigs of RAM, and it's running right there, OS 10.9.5. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, i just been using, the, the way I update this, I used the Ethernet, because Ethernet port worked. Uh, the Ethernet worked out of the box, and the my audio, as you can see up there, that worked out of the box too. Just right away. It just and yeah, I have multi beast there. That's how I configured my um, a couple more of my settings. The only thing I really needed multi beast for was um, the SM BIOS thing I, to make it um, read as a MacBook Pro. Um, because I tried the in, the Intel HD three thousand uh, graphics patch and that never worked. So I, I just installed. Um, I don't think it's on here. Yeah, no, it's not on here. But it's on my flash drive. I'll post. I'll post what I used in the description down below. 
you guys can see what uh, it took to uh, get this Hackintosh working. Um, you can see... This is my launch pad. I have quite a few stuff on here already. Uh, yeah, like I said, you can't click and drag on with this trackpad, so... And my mouse, uh, I, it's in my room, so... Um, okay. You can see when I move from left to right, it doesn't lag at all. And sorry about the screen. The, in the video, it, usually when you record laptop screens, it's just like... Or just any type of screen. It looks like the uh, video's, like... Flickering, but that's just because of the camera. Uh, when you're when it's all working fine, when you're not looking it on camera, you're just looking at the laptop itself. Th that doesn't do that. Uh, I have uh, the latest iTunes on here also. I believe it's twelve point zero point one or twelve point zero or something like that. Yep. And I'll play a song. I'll just play levels, so you guys can know that the audio is working. Yeah, see. And the um, the media controls work also. Um, so if you would do like, you would press the Alt key because of course this uh, Macs don't have uh, an Alt key; they have a Command key. But you press the Alt for Windows key, and then you would use the controls as stand to. You'd mute it like that. Go higher, lower. Actually, it's a fu the function key actually does it too. But yeah. You can go higher or lower. Um, you can skip to the next song. Actually, that uses... Yep. Yeah. Skip to the next song like that. And you can pause it also. Play it. Rewind. Yeah, so all these controls were, are working. Um, it's just the, the trackpad isn't really... You can't click and drag. See, so I'll try clicking and dragging over here somewhere. See how it, like, it's all... And I'm, I'm clicking right now, and it's not moving, so... There's just... This is going to be a bug for that, unless this trackpad internally just doesn't work for Mac. Because this, this laptop, I believe, uh, this model is 2013. It was re redesigned, but... I got this brand new, so... But yeah, as you can tell, it's got the... Uh, it's got the i3-2370 mobile with the HD 3000 graphics. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. I'll be making another one of how I did it, of how to install on this system itself. So if you have the same system, uh, check the video out. So I'll see you guys in the next video.